Okay, so today we're talking travel photography. Three tips that have always helped me get better photos. So let's get to it. You left your camera, Andre. Oh. Hey, hey guys. Where are we? We are in the Shenandoah State Park. I think we find a cool spot to try and get some nice landscape travel style photos. Did a lot of driving, now a little bit of hiking. Hopefully it's worth it. A little bit chilly yeah. compared to when we started the drive. <laughs> That's right. Watch your step, dude. <laughs> that thing's huge. I'm sure they're so used to this. Like, oh yeah, just people walking by again. So tip number one is to plan ahead. You wanna kinda nail down a location you wanna go to, look it up in advance, and not only that, you wanna get there early to get there at the best time. Look up at what time lighting is gonna be best, most optimal. Here, we try to get here before sunset. As you can see, we're about to get a nice sunset. So we got here and we're gonna location scout to see what's gonna be the best place, the best shots. That way we don't have to do any of that once the time comes. <laughs> that was kinda sketchy. So the second tip is the type of lenses you wanna bring. The first lens you wanna bring is a wide lens. We're shooting landscapes, big sceneries, places you haven't been. You wanna capture the whole landscape. So something like a 16 to 35 like we're filming on right now will make for some really awesome photos. Now let me show you the second type of lens that I really like to use. You wanna use a really tight lens. Using a really tight lens like 100 millimeter, 85, 70 to 200 lets you really zoom in on specific details that might get lost in the wide shot. Sounds kind of funny, but you get some really cool results for travel landscape photography. So my last tip is to get the most versatile shot possible. What I mean by that is don't just limit yourself to a vertical Instagram photo or a horizontal landscape shot. Think about how you can get a shot that can be used for a multitude of different crops, different platforms, different banner sizes. That way you're not limiting yourself and you get <laughs> Think about how you're framing the photo, composition. You can use that same photo to be cropped vertically for Instagram, horizontal for a landscape, you know, print or anything else that could be a banner, just a multitude of different things versus just like, this would be a cool Instagram shot, this would be a cool different shot. <laughs> oh, what is that, like sand? What is just flying? got hit by some sand. <laughs> it's kind of funny that it's like ridiculous. <laughs> so before we lose our hats, that's how you can get the most versatile shot. Wow, man, so we made it. Isn't it crazy? It was so worth it. Yeah, it's insane. It was nothing like this on the way up. It was super cloudy, super, almost like it was gonna storm. So the fact that we have this is insane. Jeez. That was such an experience. It's getting pretty dark out, so we gotta use the phone to light us up. <laughs> Landscape photography, travel photography type stuff is something I always dream about doing. Never get to do it from where I live. There's just nothing there to shoot like this. So getting the opportunity to do it was amazing, especially the fact that it worked out because we seriously thought that we were not gonna get 
anything close to that because the whole way up here it was cloudy muggy we're like oh we're not gonna have a sunset but you know what let's just still let's try it anyway and it worked out see you guys in the next video see ya how'd you like that phone transition huh so guys, now I'm back and wow, what an amazing trip getting to look back on that. I'm so excited on the fact that not only got to hang out with one of my best friends, Taylor, but also see some really epic views that you saw in this video. And now that I'm home and I can honestly look back and think, it is so hard doing this sometimes. I really realize how difficult it is to plan a video, vlog, take photos, switch lenses, document a story, enjoy it and do it all at the same time especially when you're trying to capture an epic sunset like you saw in this video, it is really hard and really stressful. You know, I really wish that I got more video content for this vlog tutorial, but I'm really happy with what we got and I'm even more happier with the photos, which if I look back, for me personally, photos are the most important. There's something about being able to capture a really awesome landscape with your perspective, your point of view, edit it how you want it and your style and even possibly print it up for an awesome memory like this one. It's just the most rewarding thing ever in photography. And if you guys remember on one of my previous videos where I talked about how to build a website, I didn't include a gallery section in my new website. And the reason behind that was because I'm really pushing as this you know, digital content creator, but also photographer. But now that I really have some images that I'm so stoked on and I would love to get paid to do, I'm gonna add those into my gallery. Which leads me to today's video sponsor that made this whole trip possible Zyro. Zyro is one of the easiest ways to create an online store or website. With simple drag and drop options, you can literally create a website in minutes from designer made templates. And honestly, I made mine the day I started it. It's that simple. Some of the most important things for me in a website host are affordability, super fast loading speeds, ease of use, and 24 seven live customer support. Fast website loading speeds are super important. You don't want a user to be sitting on there waiting for your website to load because then they just might X out of it. Users get a way better experience, which means an increase in your sales if you're in e-commerce and you rank higher on search engines. So grab Zyro's limited time deal right now. So click the link below or use my code for an exclusive discount plus three months free and a free domain for a year with any yearly plan. Thanks so much to Zyro for sponsoring this video and this trip. Really appreciate you guys. So as you saw the photos in this video, they weren't all from just that location. We went to other parts in that national park. We went to other scenic views and I'd love to make more videos on this content, like maybe how I edited these photos, my approach to editing travel landscape photography. If you're interested in that, leave a comment below and I will definitely get on that because I'm stoked on this topic for real, like landscape, travel photography, just memories like this are just timeless. And it's my probably my favorite type of photography, honestly. So leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down your thoughts, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to be part of the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.